Hello everyone. Welcome to our live. So today is another day of psychedelic. We still have a, a couple days left. So let me show you what we are gonna do today. So I found this picture this morning and I really love this color. I have another one. Uh, the day before yesterday we do alien. So today we're gonna do uh, mushroom, psychedelic mushroom. Oh, I found this one cool too. I wanna wait a little bit more for the pot team, but I really like that one too. But the color of this one drive me crazy. So I'm, uh, especially that bright electric teal, it's a very difficult colors for most people to achieve because it's so bright, it's almost electrified aqua. So that is what we are gonna conjure today is that nice teal colors. I really love it, teal and pink. And then other color, but only a little bit. So give me just a second. Let me post on my website. Okay, the website at www.tinovo.shop. And then I will add in Kyla information. So Kyla phone number is 417-772-4020. You can call her for any shopping or shipping question. Just anything besides the product. Just uh, she know a lot about the website. She can draft your order. Uh, she can fix your problem. Just whatever it is, text her. And let me connect myself. So let's see, Voltina. Great today. Oh. It's already in. Gotta wait for a little bit. Okay. Uh, can you uh, All right. I forgot to show you the note yesterday. Um, today we're gonna be taking note again. I, I haven't still found my pen yet, so we're still gonna be using the um the iPad, but we're not gonna use it really today. I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna type because it's way faster for me to type than for Siri <laughs> to read my accent. I guess Siri doesn't understand the accent. What accent anyway? Hello everyone. Oh pin my website. I forgot to pin it. Let me let me search for it again. It's all the way up here. Okay. All right. Thank you for telling me. Hi, Tia. All right. Let me see. Let me search for um, the photos. Okay. I wonder if you guys can see it like this. Oh, you guys can see it like this. Oh. Okay, then I might do it like this. Ah, now you can see me. Ah, that's cool. Okay. Now I have four nails out. Okay. <coughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. Uh, uh, big put. Thank you. Hola. Hola, Philadelphia. Okay. Okay, let me see. Where are the... Go ahead and uh, photos uh -huh. and edit. I want to make sure that it's bigger, especially these eyes. I love this eye right here. Okay. okay. So, of course, background going to be all black. So, I'm taking the middle fingers and the ring finger and I'm taking shadow. Let me zoom in. See shadow. I'm taking shadow and apply on the middle fingers. This coolness.
Very cool. Now you can see what I'm drawing. But I don't have to like put underneath. Um, I don't have to draw on top of it. That's cool. Can I screenshot the picture, please? Help me follow along better. Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. Especially this one. Make sure you got this one in. I love the eye. Let me zoom out. Okay, screenshot that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, hear this? All right, I'm gonna do the stem with the ring fingers. I'm gonna do a mushroom and one with the eye, but flower around it. What do you search in order to find this art? So I, I put in trippy mushroom with eyes on Pinterest. I put in trippy mushroom with eyes. And it pop up a bunch of like wallpapers and you know a bunch of art and i'd be like oh well, i love this when you have the proper tool and the proper knowledge to be confident about whatever you're creating it's actually very easy to search about for info because now you're not intimidating by what you see sometimes people have difficult um problem to to find what they see not because they didn't see it it because they have to filter out which one is easy which one is mm, hard you know they use they dodge a lot they subconsciously dodge a lot of in inspo because of intimidation okay let me make sure that it's all perfect All right, so this one is already done. So I am going to get pigment base to draw. Okay. So I'm going to take pigment base and a palette. Mm -hmm. uh, today, not necessarily going to be brighter than yesterday. But it's gonna be more electric because of this aqua. I'm very excited for this aqua. Okay, so this is pigment base that I use. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the palette right here. Now, I think it's better off laying down, honestly. It's cool, but it's kind of in my way. All right, laying down. Okay, it's better. Better that way. I feel more kind of an uncomfortable now because uh, of the right product now. Thank you to you, Tino. You're welcome, Preston. Oh, press it. There's a bomb. Thank you, BB. Hi, Gentilini. Okay. Okay. Now I am going to draw the mushroom first, okay? <laughs> so I'm getting a line brush right here. And I'm getting some pigment down here, pigment base. And what I'm going to do, draw the mushroom. So I'm drawing this one. This one right here, okay? So what I do is draw the top first. Because you notice know, the top is small and then it's spread out. So what I'm going to do is draw a little curve like this, diagonally, taking 10 millimeter brush. Okay. And maybe add a little weight to it if you want. 
So that is this part underneath here. That what you're doing. Okay. Now, on top, I want you to do something like this, like a teardrop. Okay. What you do on top? Make just make sure that this top is nice and round, not too much. So just a little. Now, this right here, I want you to start here and curve in to this point on both sides. Curve in to this point, color it in. So it's like a crescent moon underneath here. Okay. Now, I want you to blend this together. Don't look at the Y. Don't look at the Y part. Look at the black part. Okay. Make sure you don't look at the white. Just take the black part and smooth out. Okay. Let me see, let me see. There's some smiley face going on here. Okay. So now, this have lot of gel, so I'm just going to use gel up from right here. I am going to draw this stem, okay? And notice that little drip right here, I really love it, along the stem. So what I'm going to do is start doing the sway. The bottom is bigger than the top. From here, going down. Did that? Now, I'm gonna do it again. Make sure I take it just a little bit on the top and a lot in the bottom. Okay. Now, see this little drip right here? Start from here. I'm going to pin one little drip on the side. Going up. That's a drip right here. Okay. Same thing on this side. Okay. Make sure. That is curved how I want it. I want to curve it just a little more. Okay. Now go ahead and clear this. Actually, hold on, give me a second. I need to make a rim around this. Like that. See that? Now I'm gonna kill. So kill it for 60 seconds. Can you use any white gel art pen? No, not art pen. Gel polish. Gel polish. Not art pen. This is art pen. Tickers. Let me show you. Uh, gel pen or tickers like this. Don't use this. Don't use anything like this. Um, because you doing a big spay, you know, I mean, a, a big lump of silhouette. You don't need anything that have control like that. You take your gel polish, pick up your white gel polish, um, and test it first. Um, every gel, 
white gel polish have a different residue two type one is wet one is dry you want you don't want it too wet or else your pigment won't stick on it you want kind of dry ish kind of like a dry ish residue okay so now leave it like this i'm gonna do another layer right here of flowers so this is the center of the flower okay they're gonna be an eye right in the middle of the flowers do a center a little higher all right, so now I'm going to paint one petals. Okay. Another one down here. Let's look. Okay. Okay. Another one from across. And then one in the middle of each side. Now, you need to round the top like this. And you pull in slant slightly when you pull in, okay? You're gonna do it all the way around, and if it helps, do the do this and then do the opposite one first. That's why it will help you make it even more even when you're done. Just like this on the side too. Just like that. This side. Okay. Just like this. Now, now I'm gonna do the one in the middle. Now, when it's all space out, you can actually navigate the space a little more better. On in, kind of straight a little bit, just to make sure the center have uh, a little bit of white space in it. Okay, same thing here. Pull in and then pull them in. This one too. A little longer than the pedal to match the other side. Okay, now I'm gonna cure this. Actually, I'm gonna make sure everything match. That's just a little bit more. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna cure this. So, time to colors. Let's put this aside. Let's put these aside. Time to color this. Okay, pigment out. So this is what we're gonna use. Let's see. Um, hills. So we need blue and we need green. Okay. Now we have pink. Out all this pink, I will choose the one in the middle, the medium. This one have a lot of red in it, the hot pink, and fuchsia have a lot of blue. So too much red, too much blue, I'm going to choose the medium tone. I'm going to choose this pink. 
not sure the color is exact on camera, but it's like a rose pink. Now, um, I also use orange and yellow, but very little, and put it on the side. Two pieces of paper towels. One piece. Fold it up just like this. Hi from Netherlands. Hello, Netherlands. Uh, even taught you uh, uh, don't need any. You should. You don't need brand ambassador. Not yet, anyway. We don't do brand ambassador now. It's something for later. I mean, I do promote other people. I do promote other people, but uh, right now I'm only I'm the only one who uh, who make creative content for my uh, for my line and for my business. I am the only content creator. Um, I'm not sure if I'm ready to have help from other people for my own to promote my product and to promote my content. I'm not sure I'm ready for for help like that, but that's not really helping. All my content that I put out, that is mine. That's my own content. Okay, now I am going to use a pigment brush. See that? How you become brand ambassador with other company. Um, so daily, um, actually not daily John, Born Pretty is the first one that contact me. Of course, it's not really a big collaboration, but one thing leads to the next. Um, so just all the small, tiny company first. And then after I have like five or six um, different kind of ambassadorship, then I go ahead and uh, get approached by like Daily Charm and let me see what else Daily Charm, Magpie, uh, Young Now, um, just multiple company. What, the, what they see that I was working for other people, so they approach me, uh, and I don't do exclusive, and I never do, and you should never do exclusive. You should never sign a contract for one company because that's strapping you down. But that's how I started. I just people just watching me for a long time and see how I develop and all that. And they just very in, intrigued. That time I was open for anything because at that time I, um, I need product. I need unique product and I don't want to spend money for it. I need unique product so I can make content. And other company, they want my content because it's creative. So they, they go out the way and um, and because I, I am non-exclusive, so that was a heyday for them. All of them jumped jump into the bandwagon. Okay, let me see. More, a little more, just a tiny bit more. The reason why you have, um, you have green on this is because to make the blue a little more aquatic. So it's not too dark when you put it in. Okay, that's look like a good blue. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's good aqua. You see how bright the aqua color is? It's very hard to get. It's electric. Reason so why uh, it's so bright? It's done over white. It's done over white. Anything that done over white polish or white foundation is is bright enough, like twice as bright. Especially yellow. So for this one, in order to achieve the brightness of it, I I using pigment because it's easier to apply it smoothly over white polish rather than take polish apply over white polish that's not smooth to me that's kind of messy in a way oh i don't know i thought they still pay for product just cheaper no 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 um 
when you ambassador for a company, um, there is several way for them to do it. Once, if they give you like fifty dollar credit every month, you can buy something from their store. Uh, two, they will set up a um, like a paying system where they will pay you for certain amount of, of um, content every month. I done that. I hate it because I feel like I have deadline. Um, then when I don't produce certain content, then it's kind of awkward, kind of funny, and you know, like when like every month they would reach out to you and they'd be like, or they can give you a certain product every month. They reach out to you and they say, uh, could you pick uh, like a feel? You know what I mean? But when they don't call you, then they get weird. That means that they're not happy about whatever you, you do. The whole thing is awkward. When I get too busy, I hate the uh, eight video a month. That's, that's the thing. Eight video a month. I hate it. I hate it to God because I, even if I have, have time, I, I feel like I'm being mm, forced or rushed, you know. So just whatever uh, it is that they, they policy. And some company require you to be their own. Now, you don't want that. You don't want to be, you don't want anyone to own you at all. That is not a good thing. That's a bad, bad things. You don't want to be owned. Remember that. Don't be owned by anyone. Years ago, my friend Jenny sent a contract with OPI. I think that's a bad idea because she couldn't do anything. She couldn't go to class. She couldn't work with other company. It's like exclusive. You don't want that at all. That's that's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use yellow and orange, but just a little bit before I use pink. Don't use too much yellow and orange. Actually, I need to clean it up more. Just like that. orange just a little bit there you go now time for pink be careful of these colors don't go too crazy on them Okay, see that? I want a little bit right here too. Okay, see how pretty it is now already? <laughs> okay, just like that. Loving, Loving 313 is full of information. I love her. I love what love in three one two. You know, if anyone is a good ambassador, she is. She she will be a good ambassador. She's knowledgeable. Okay, now this. I want some. Um, did I just blow on my customer hand? You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to brush it like a lady, like this. What you supposed to do? Okay, don't blow on because of mine. I'm sure you don't. Okay, so I'm gonna just blend it down just like this. Hello, hello, now by Kaylee. Hello, Jackie. Hi, Isn't that beautiful. Remember, if it gets too heavy on you, run over a few times like this. Then it'll be softer for you to blend. Go ahead and blend just a little bit on the teal too, just to make that purple, uh, purple tint, just like that. See that? 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, on this one, uh, let me see on this one first. Okay. So I am taking yellow because that's still white right here. Yellow and orange. So orange first along this edge. See that? And then yellow. Now, what I am going to do, if you see here, if you see what in here, the color is different. Okay. I'm going to use pigment too. But if I were to put white on here and, and brush on pigment, of course, it's not going to stick on the other colors, but it's going to taint it. It's going to stick just a little bit. But a tiny bit is enough, like green on pink band. It will look, it will still look pink, but it will not be bright and brilliant. So what I do, I have to pigment block first. I'm using Shandy to pigment block. By the way, for blooming, 3D jelly will replace Shandit from now on for blooming. I repeat, blooming, 3D jelly will be responsible for blooming from now on. I just have a big fight with my vendor yesterday. Kill this. But we're not going to talk about it. Just know that you use 3D from now on. 3D jelly from now on for blooming. Okay, so for this, before I pigment block this, I'm going to draw an eye because, so this is the first layer. This is an eye, right? Now, this right here, I'm going to use pigment. So what I do is I have this with pigment. I'm going to pigment block this so I can use pigment again and not tense it with any of that. But before I do that, I'm going to draw the eye first because that's white behind this. So I draw in the white leaf shape pigment block and then go on with a little white in be in the middle and then put pigment on it. That's what I'm gonna do. So a leaf shape for eyes. I'm just gonna use um pigment base or just any white polish because this step is just a white color. It doesn't have any special effect on this. Slant it straight across and then slant it again. Okay, just like that. And fill it in the pigment. Do your best, do not make it too thick. Sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I make it a little thick. Or sometimes I'm not. Pay attention, not in a hurry, but I'm not paying attention. Cure this. Cause doing doing it on live is a little different. My um my distance is a little longer than when I'm doing it out in real life. Because my distance is really like this versus like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some more pigment base out. I need some more pigment base. Fire bender? No, I didn't fire bender. Uh, not yet, anyway. Uh, because that's still some stuff that I need from her. So. I didn't fire her. I just suddenly bearing grudges. That's all. Okay, now. So, I am gonna fill in this dark space in here. Okay, now, when you get to here, you're going to be careful. So I'm just going to blend it to about right here, and then I stop. Okay, now I need to make sure my brush is very thin. See, very thin. And then I go in, and I take up all this fine tune. More, 
more than welcome to use the 7 millimeter for this if it helps you in this kind of longish line I'm just gonna stay with my uh, 10 millimeter for this because the line is not really short okay fill it in and um go ahead and clear this for now see these eyes now you going to take shine it and apply on this so this is the first layer of shine it that it have on to block its pigment just a thin layer you just give the quality of shine it after it's here so you don't need much shine it on you just put a nice and thin layer of shine it not too thin that it's cut problem like but like um not bubbling but separating if it's too thin so just enough not you know not to take see that oh nice here that will block the pigment all right i am waiting for the mushroom to come out before i color it i will think about the colors Okay, pink, purple, and uh, pink, purple, and teals. So, I'm taking this. Um, teal obviously gonna be up here since this is pink. Actually, uh, let me see. Actually, blue first. Blue and purple. Like a dark, dark, bluish purple. Okay, come over here. Okay, now let's see. See, you can you can apply over. The, see, it does. Pigment doesn't stick on it, so you can apply all over. Sure that it does free with a lot that right here. Wipe it off. See, so just touch the edge. Okay. Sorry, it looks beautiful. Now, you're taking these teal colors, make sure that you clean your pigment very well oh, thank you thank you kenda now thank you oka Tears. just a light coat of teal in now not done yet i am gonna draw the line around this like this start from here with the pigment base too so be careful because pigment base is liquidy Now I'm going to close it like this, just land it in like this, switch the angle of your brush, do the same thing, just pull it up like this, 
and this gone down leave it alone it's gone down leave it alone come up here switch the angle of your brush going up going up okay add some drip right here in the bottom Okay. And then go up here to see if you need any detail like this. See that? You might leave it white. Okay, it's pretty just like that. Oh, my lamb green into it. We don't know yet. Just a couple. Okay, here it is. Now, come the eyes. So it's already have pigment block on it. Thank to shine it. So now, thank you. Thank you, Nari. Thank, thank you, Press. Shoes lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, so you, this already pigment block, so pigment would not stick on this look. No pigment, okay? It's pigment block. Okay, I will shine it on. So now I'm gonna take pigment base and again draw in a circle here for the eyeball. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna cure this. I know you guys couldn't see it. Let me zoom closer. See that? White on white. Cure this. Okay. Now let's pigment this one. So this one I'm gonna use. Uh, sort of the same color -ish. see i'm gonna start with yellow up here can i be careful don't get into this blue but i'm gonna stand it even further down okay and then next i'm gonna get orange i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna start here but i'm gonna stand it even further down Pass the orange part and into the pink part. And I'm going to start again with pink. I'm going to blend further down into the teal. And then now I'm going to start with teal. So I make sure I make everything clean. Start out with teal. Blend into the pink to create like a purple. Okay, and then pick up a little yellow and uh, in the bottom. Okay, just to match, or just to pop, make a little pop again. However, you should not repeat color too often on one now. It'd be confusing. This is just a little oomph, you know, a little oomph at the beginning. But when color is stand out by its own, you can see the eye drawn to the yellow immediately. 
So don't repeat too much colors. Okay. This is still enough. To, it's still going to be interesting. But don't just do yellow here, yellow here, yellow here, and yellow everywhere. Don't do that. It will make it weaker and weaker. Are you ready for this? You're going to love seeing this. You're going to love seeing me blend this. Ah, just like you ate the mushroom. <laughs> I get to do mushroom. I haven't done it in a while. Okay. Now, I am going to choose a pink. Mm. Let's see. Let's start with the same pink, medium pink. now from the top down we're gonna do this this eyes see the top is pink it look blue but don't 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 be mistake it's pink it's not blue you start with pink blend down and then yellow blend up so this metal is orange now this blue right here don't be mistake because look at it is a pattern a blue it going across here see that so that is stained glass gel done before it's not pigment see it's going all the way around the eye that blue so we're going to use stained glass gel for that okay now um i'm gonna choose pink blend that down Stay in one plane, get blending, so it get darker and darker and darker, but it doesn't spread. If you move down, it will spread. So you just stay still, and you keep repeating the same motion. So it's it's solid pink. Okay. Now, clean your brush. Go here with the brightest yellows. Oh, I still have a little more pink. I wasn't cleaning good enough. Now, let's see. Good. Go here with your yellow all the way up. See, when you have pigment block, you can confidently swipe it. See, see the Y behind it? Beautiful, perfect. Beautiful white background behind for the eyeball. Now, if I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna start painting details, okay? Now, in details, um, if you're not confident, you have to put a coat of matte to cover all this pigment and protect it before you paint it detail, just in case you make mistake. Before uh, I paint it detail, I'm gonna draw the eyelid for it. Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna block pigment anymore, so I gotta be uh, very careful. But just a second. But see, it's right beside it. It's right beside the eye, so I can dodge it very easily. Okay, now I'm gonna take this. Oh my God, look! I'm gonna clear this. Okay. <laughs> mushroom make your uh, brain in higher by active mode so it doesn't do anything for you you're the one that doing it, it it's uh it's cause a lot of um hyperactive mode meaning you can you can focus more than usual it's it kind of enhance your brain whatever you see or you think you see that's from you it's not from the mushroom. It's from your head. Um, whatever in your head, it come out. So if you're in a good mood, then you have class. If you in, if you have issue, then then it'll be problematic. Now, 
a lot of psychedelic is used in uh, psychiatry too. So now I'm getting blue. Okay. This is blue. Now, lightly over here. Very lightly. Lightly over here too. And I am going to end it with a bright green. So again, I want the blue to be solid. So just stay there. Now be careful. Don't touch the yellow. Don't touch the yellow. But you can dodge it because it's right just above it. You can dodge it very easy. But stay there. And keep blending. Okay. Now. I am going with a bright green. Where is the green? Right here. Bright green. See this? Again, blend it in the center. We're gonna end. We're gonna end it with a bright, bright yellow. So, and bring it to the center just like this. Stop. Actually, we're not gonna put yellow in it. I like it just the way it is. Okay, so we have this and this. Uh, let's see on top of here. Let's do green. Let's do some green on top of uh, on top of the white dot here. And then some blue mix in. Mm. Let's let tattoo in. Okay. Now, I want to detail. You can detail right on this. That's save you one layer of top coat. But for beginner, you need to top coat this before you detail it. Um, it will save your life if you're not confident about it. Then you can take a matte top coat. Again, just a thin layer. And in fact, um, I'm just gonna detail the eye. So on here, on here, I'm gonna detail the whole mushroom. Actually, no, just a metal. So I am gonna take mat. Start right here and then going down. Very thin. And up here, you don't have to like fully cover it. See, it's not done covering everything yet. See that? I'm done. Kill this. Because all I focus on is the cap of the mushroom. That's it. Same with the eye. I take some mat. I put in the eye. Okay. And with the brush, I'm not picking up any more gel. I'm just blending it down. It don't have to cover well. It just needs to blend out. So it's not bulky. See, you need to blend out like this, and it's done. See that? It doesn't finish covering yet. As long as it's blend out so it's nice and thin. Here. That is when we're going to detail. So now we save all the, um, all the pigment behind what we're going to detail is already protected. So we're going to take black art gels. Okay. Okay, now some black right here, some black art gels. I am gonna draw this little curve, the mushroom right here. See the, the little curve? That is what I'm gonna draw. So, first, I am gonna make a, a, a frame for it. Sorry, I'm off screen. Hi, 
Hi, Queen of Claws. Is. See very thin. Make sure you run your brush very, very thinly, and you're gonna develop this line, thin line going in. But again, let me try the seven millimeters. I'm always when I um, when I already um, draw, I just hate stopping and switch brush, but I know that it's gonna help me. Okay, now. Oh, see, so much easier with a seven for this. Okay, now zoom in closer. Now don't look at the black, look at the background, look at the purples and make sure that all the angle or the edge is nice and smooth. Okay, see that? Here it is. Like a dark blue. Oh, yes. That's why I was thinking when I pick up the black. I was like, hmm, I wish I get like an indigo blue. That's very good. But I already go with the black. I uh, go with the black, so I'm just staying with the black. But yeah, in the picture, I think that you are like an ultramarine blue. Okay, now I am going to draw an eyeball. So let's draw the outline for the lip first. You guys are going to love these eyes. I'm using, I'm still using the seven millimeter, by the way. See that all around this frame with the seven millimeter, I don't have to be as focused. It's just not as strong as the other one. It's a little thinner on the root too, not just on the not just on the tip, but on the root is thin too. And now I am starting from the eyelash with this you have to use seven or five short load hairline like this kisses All right now this tip right here the pinky and index i want some nude in there remember i don't want a lot of black because it's too dark i want i want some uh new skin this is tan nude uh i think that i should use yeah tan nudes use tan nudes okay so i put some nude in there Cut nude our way, make it sexier than just color. I like nude. I like a lot of tips, like French tip, like half, half, half and half. I like it. It's just uh, prettier, more elegant. Here it is. Okay. Now, 
you yet in white pigment base You can wipe, just wipe polish, just wipe polish. Take um, a dotting tool or an engraver. Okay. And you dot in some white uh, polish going in. One dot, two dot, and one little dot. So I have to dot this until it's little. Okay, now going in okay here Pretty. and there is a black and white kind of like zebra line but it's not zebra it's like hip like hip hypnosis line I want to add it in that's the reason why I think about this set because I love those contrasts, black and white contrasts, like a zebra. Here it is. So with pigment base too, you can use um art gel now because we draw a little line. I'm not gonna use art gel because I don't really need control in this in this one. I'm just gonna use pigment base too. Let me see. Let me see how difficult it is. Yeah, it's not too difficult. I'm just gonna use pigment base for this one to depend this little line right here. Because it's not a constructed line, it's like a flowy abstract line. Uh, it can start out thick and end up really thin and then it don't have to stay around it, don't have to be cohesive. It just have to be repeated. That's why I only use like a like a gel polish instead of gel paint because this part is like free form. I doesn't need to be um very controlling in this part. It's not like straight line or not like symmetrical curve like this. It's just low fluid line. Go ahead and hear this. Same right here. make a little tail for it and then I blend it out and then this don't look at the white look at the black I'm gonna curve it just gonna curve it to get rid of the points I don't know if you're familiar with doing abstract sway I realize I never really go to abstract sway it's just because it's just a remember but that trend that is like people overdo it, it gives me nightmare. So that's why I don't go over sway. But it's really fun doing sway. Okay, same thing right here. See that? 
Okay. Like it. If 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 it's difficult for you to use pigment base, you can use um you can use white art gel. It's not that you can't. Mm -hmm. Now uh, let's see. Let's see if there's anything else I wanna add just before I tie it in. No, here it is and this. These, remember that these are also pigment block because it's no white, right? So, so if you don't have top gel like this, you your new gel, but then go over with a uh, sanded, go over with a sanded. So it's pigment block, but this already pigment block. So I am gonna take some pigment base. Paint it uh, like a tip on it. It don't have to be like a, a, a French tip. It can be like this, like a suede tip. Okay. Same on here. Just a sway tip. And down. Going up. Just going up and smooth this. Okay, all the way down. Okay. So after these, go ahead and cure. Oh, gracias, Kikaro, Kikaro, same and done. Tiro, need to, I need a bling or glitter where I put it. Okay, so on here you can put it on the cuticles, um, like a crown, like a cuticle, and then some in the middle going down like a tail down. This one is scatters one, two, three. If you scatter and don't do this too much, then you do this around it. But I would do black. If I want to need some crystal, um, I would say that these finger minimum crystal, just on the middle fingers. And then I would save some crystal for the um, uh, pinky and the index. One difference between cast eye polish when it's say 90, 50. So, that okay so cat eye is basically a type of mm, pigment that are metal okay so um it push by magnet that what is made up in the beginning when cat eye first made manufacture cut a lot of cars and um just like there'll be one manufacturer they have some really good cat eyes and then everybody else were like, I want to do that too. I want to do it too. But, you know, when it comes to money, number is a big problem. You know, can you buy a big amount? Because if you cannot buy a big amount, then how much ingredient you mix in it and all that. You know, in overseas, um, in Germany or in uh, China, India, Korea, um, it's all about the numbers. Okay. So... If you spend a million dollar, then it's smarter to mix in five gram of pigment rather than ten gram of pigment. If you can spend ten million dollars, then at this point your price will be cut, the shipping will be cut, so you can mix in more pigment. So now what happened is people have crappy pigment because people only mix in like twenty percent of pigment for cat eyes. So later on, as cat eye become like you know. Um, popular, then that's the way they compete is, well, I have stronger cat eyes. The author like, well, I have stronger cat eyes. Now, that is for us seller, but for manufacturers, that's not about who have better stuff. It's about who can make more using what they already have, the ingredient, and of course, money they invested. So, uh, the, the whole thing is, which manufacturer do you have, you know, and how much you're willing to buy so they give you good stuff. Um, 
so that is different between 90 and 5D is that one is crappier than the others. Or, or they are the same, or they're both the same, or 5D and 5D is the same, except for this guy have 5, 5D, so you know what? I'm going to have 9D. So guess what? I'm going to have 10D. You know what I mean? And hope that the other person doesn't have the 15D coming out, like iPhone, they come, they keep, keep coming out. But, you know, I might have the 100D, in, you know, for now, just so I can just skip over everything else. I, I guarantee you, you're going to see a 12D soon. Right now, I see 3D is like, oh, 4D is after 3D. I have no idea what is 4D because I know 3D is three dimension. And in this world that we're living in, we only can see three dimension. Two dimension is a piece of paper. You know, three dimension is with depth, with space and depth. I have no idea what is a four dimension, but apparently now there's five different dimension. And guess what? Nine different dimension. I have no idea what that means. I never think that nine different dimension is possible for human eye to detect. Maybe a butterfly can see nine different dimension, but I have no idea what even the fourth dimension is. What is it beside depth? You know, we have width, you have length, you have depth, and then, and then that is space, right? That three dimension. So what is four dimension? I don't know. I mean, you help me on that, please, girl. I have no idea. <laughs> four, four dimension is time. <laughs> Time is relative, remember? Time and space is relative, remember? It don't exist. It's only as it with gravity. Remember? Remember Einstein told you, tell us? Gosh, you keep up your homework. Oh no, oh no, what? Quantum physics. You didn't know that Tino know quantum physics? The time passing by, like uh, by the current, like a river, that even with a small adjustment in time, it's just like a piece of pebble that is still not strong enough to change the current of the river. That was time is. That is a lot of quantum physics. Okay, now I am going to get some blue. So I'm thinking teal needs to be like down here because I love teal. Um, all the hot color is on top. So let me see, let me see. I am attracted to this, even though I don't want it to be too bright. So I'm thinking orange, yellow, and then teal. That means on this color scheme, it means pink, orange, yellow, and teal. Actually, actually yellow, orange, pink, and teal. Okay. No, yellow right here. And then I'm gonna have some yellow right here too. I'm I'm doing both because because if if you do one and then you continue to do like an orange and then you continue to do uh pink and then you move on to this. What happened is you have to clean your brush every time. So I'm just going to save time by doing both. Because it's both look the same. That's what you do when you're working on your client. Is that you just follow one step at a time all the way through. Like if you do 10 fingers, I would just jump colors. I would be like orange on every fingers. And then I move on to a different color. That's how I usually do it. So now I'm going orange. But you got to know where, where you're going beforehand, right? Right, right. You have to know the look in general. So, I mean, I don't recommend freestyle with your client. Have some kind of idea. Free, freestyle for people that think fast, you know. That's what freestyle is. It doesn't mean that you come up with something on the spot. It's, it's meaning that your brand be able to come up with an idea in an instance without much planning ahead. Okay, now I am going to take some pink. I'm going to color pink in. Okay. Remember, I want to leave space for the teal, so don't go too crazy on this. About right here, 
I already kind of want to slow down. Run your brush over the paper towel a few times and so I can make it softer going down. Still a little heavy. I need to run over the towel a few times. Still going down. Okay, at this point, stop. Okay. This is going to stop. Now, again, pink. Just over the color is fine because it's already been taken by other pigment. Color in the same family, you don't uh, really scare up being uh, tainted rather than a different family, like green. Green is a no-no to, to apply from here. But pink, pink is friendly with yellow because it's the transition between yellow, orange, and pink. Very lightly though. Okay, now the next color is an aqua, so I really do need to clean my brush well. I didn't um, clean my brush that well when I do this color because it's cohesive, but the aqua, if it have a little yellow or a little pink on it, it can, it can tint it the uh, pureness of the aqua. So I make sure that it's clean. Okay, all nice and clean. Now, blue and green. So I'm putting blue in. I'm taking a little green. Oh, that's perfect already. No need to add. See that? It's not green, of course. It's still blue, but it's like a, like a teal blue. Make sure you mix well together. If you don't mix well, then you have green here and blue here. It's going to be inconsistent. Okay, let's see. Let's see how the color looks. Hmm, I say a little more blue. Just a tap more, not much. Let's see. I think this is perfect. Okay, now a light coat over the colors. I'm gonna weaken the color a little bit. Okay, now that's it out. Uh, so we step in some orange. This teal, you have a little issue. I should jam the paper towel, but I didn't, and it's too messy. Hopefully, this one will be better. Yeah, this one is better than the other one. The other one, I, I, I tap it, and then some orange, just a tiny bit of orange, flake into my brush that I didn't wear, and it, it make it old looking. You can see it on camera, but I can tell. It's very hard for people to tell, but I can tell. Does it make all the different? I can tell. I know it's there, that little orange stain on it. It's pretty though. Okay, now let's see what it looks like with these two. Okay. So, what next is. I am going to take black and paint it on this. And I prefer uh, shadows. Okay, because it's going to be thick. Like this. So in the middle, I'm going to have some kind of gold, like pixie gel or something. So here, oh, I need to clean my brush.
Hi, Louis. Why are you here? Color it in. See that? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, here. I'm thinking that I might chrome, but actually, it deserved some chrome. Just fill it in all the way in. Yeah. And put in some white tea. Just gonna wipe this off with a paper towel and use some pigment base. Again, if you want to use art gel because you want some control, go ahead. It just sees Lana very liquidy, unstable, trippy lines. So. Mm-hmm. Make a little curve right here. Hi, thank you, Onyas. Thank you, huh? Juice. Juice, um, hot way. So it's pretty good. Got am almost done. Okay. Okay. Okay, just like this. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm, okay. I see you. Okay. This one, the same things. Hi, hi, Ulinda. Hi, Ulinda Katako. Follow the line. Follow the line. Okay, now I want to add gold right in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I am going to apply shanded on. So with shanded, I'm going to apply this on. Oh, you oh you like this, Kendall? Oh, okay. 
Finish. Forgot to clean this. Okay, have to be extra careful. See the screen right here, it'll be guiding clean it. So when I put on top curl, the stick on it and I drag it up. Careful, be careful. Oh, we made it. Okay, now here. Hi, hi, Caspi. Same thing over here, too. Make sure we clean this this time. Buen, oh, buenos días, Cynthia Zumba. ¿Cómo estás hoy, mi amor? Hey, Pandora. Pandora Pri. Okay. Yeah. I'm done with Pikmin. I'm going to put my Pikmin up. I'm done. Right now, I'm doing Chrome. Okay, now buffers. If you're new, then I have been using this buffer forever. This buffer I think use because it's very good buffer, but it's not rough. It doesn't ruin your color or anything. You know, you don't want to use buffer that are too rough. See how, how how not rough it is. See that? So that is why I use. Okay, and it's it's soft, but some buffer are too soft, it doesn't do its job. This buffer do very good job. You can find it at local beauty supply store or uh, Amazon, you can find it too, but it's expensive on Amazon. Um, the true price for this is $7.50 at retail price. So if you find one that more expensive, then that's too expensive. $7.50 is, is a price that you wanna find at a beauty store somebody tell me in amazon so, uh, they sell it for 50 bucks so you don't want to buy it for 50 bucks it's like seven bucks so make sure it's all chrome free i want to chrome the stick on this at all this too make sure that it's chrome free could chrome will stick on this Make sure it's all buff, nice and neat. Okay. Now, I am going to use art gel to fill the end. So, let's do white art gels. Here this. Make sure it's nice and 
pin first, kind of thick on the side. Okay. Where are you from? I'm, I'm from Springfield, Missouri, from the United States. My, my quiet place is in Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> I need to live somewhere like this where there's not a lot of people for me to design, for me to uh, be um, focused like a sanctuary. I would hate to live in like big city like New York. I've been to New York a couple of times. I love the food and everything, but I don't want to live somewhere where there's a lot of noise because I can, I can feel wave. I live in the wood for a while, remember? I can feel traffic and wave and cell phone, I can feel it. Even if somewhere quiet like this, I still can feel the wave around me. The electricity, all that stuff that made you tense, all that wave that you couldn't really detect, but you can feel it. It's affecting mood and everything. Now, I am going to get Go Chrome. Okay, so this is a go chrome that I'm going to use. Yes. Just give it 10. It's only takes when it's perfect is to emboss to, for thickness. But other than that, just keep it. That is your gel golden drawer. Keep it thin. Remember uh, when people polish, the, the advice for polish people is always Two thin coat is always better than one thick coat. That's what I learned. That that's the thing I learned first. Is two thin coats is always better than one thick coat. Oh yeah, the the the, the countryside. I never been in New York countryside. I I think that I would love it. I think I would love it. Like. Mm, don't don't quote me on like Buffalo, New York. I guess I don't know. I just say some random it's city. Kind of big too, it's kind of big too. Any place that has a football team is big. Um, you know, I like a countryside. I I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I just never been there, but I would love to live there. Wherever it is, are quiet. Okay, so Chrome is on here. See this? Bye bye, Kelly girl. Ah, tomorrow I have another one. Tomorrow I have another one at 11 a.m. Tomorrow. I can only do one tomorrow because I have an appointment uh, at night tomorrow. I plan to do it at night, but I couldn't do it tomorrow. So I guess I'm, uh, I do it at night Sunday. Hmm. Let me see. Good. Good, good, good. What is this? Oh, this is a little boo boo. It's fine. I can fire it up. Let's do it now. Okay, now matte all of this. Both of these need to have matte on so we can return the shine to the gold. Oh, look at that. Yes. Okay, now matte. You like it, honey, your nails? Thank you. Thank you, Press. Thank you, Press by K7. Okay, matte all of this. Um, this Sunday, cuties, I want to do uh, the Queen of Egypt, Cleopatra. I want to end the weekend with Cleopatra. Skip Monday and then be on Tuesday. 
So um, I figured evening would be a perfect time, an intimate time to do Cleopatra, the Queen of Egypt, with golden wings. Uh, I'm hoping to give both pigment and chrome element for that. I want it to be bright, but I want it to be glamorous too. Glamorous, bright. I want it to be everything. I want that set to be everything. Okay, so this, again, Matt, all of this, we're done with this too. Wait, I might need some twinkles. No, I'm, no, no twinkles. Because I still have to save space for crystal. <gasps> oh, take my breath away. Black crystal for sure. Or, or Aurora Boilers for do. Okay, now Texas and Mathis. I love this better than yesterday. <sighs> it's getting better and better and better. So, how better can we get? Because now, if tomorrow it's going to be uglier than this, then that's a disappointment. So, it got to. Like Trump tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna trump this. <sighs> the pressure is on again. Care this. Top coat is too. Oh, I haven't do spray up Pisces yet. Uh next week gonna be green. Some patch. Next week gonna be St. Patrick. I need a green Betty Boo. And mm, something else. I need a green Betty Boo. That's what I need. Okay. So, I am taking Shandid. I'm just applying it out. Using a Line of brush. This time I do need to clean my brush. But you don't want any colors at all. Now you take and shine it, apply it on the goal, only the goal, so it can shine. Here this same thing here. Oh, thank you, Jessica. A little bit of shine it in here too. Oh, you guys, check this out, you guys. Do you love it? Let me see. So that is a theme for today. You do need black or anything. Oh, wait. It needs something else. <gasps> it needs something else. Black art shows. <clears throat> it needs black art shows. It needs something else. Let's give it something else. So with the engravers, I take in black art shell and I kind of make a little dot. I'm going to give it little twinkles. Oh, yes. Right here, one right here, one here. Okay. And then seven millimeters applied on here. Make sure you soak it in and then you run over a few times. Make sure it's very slender. 
come over here and do your tinkles. Try your best to make it in the same direction because if this going straight and then this going this way, then it's it's mm, will look a little odd. So make sure it's all in the same direction. If it's going down, then everything is going down cohesively, parallel. Okay, same thing on here. Oh, sorry, my app screen. I love it. It's beautiful, is it? This too. Is it beautiful? Cute this. Um, are you gonna do stained glass eye on the chair? Oh, oh, I did not. I have to. It's gonna be more beautiful. Oh, I can't believe I forgot. Maybe we can break a little rules. You wanna see me break a little rules? I do stain glass and just wipe it out. Maybe I'm, I'm not gonna top coat it. Cause it's gonna be mad anyway. But I don't want to put any more mat on this. It's already have two coat of mat, too much mat. Like I never put more than two coat on the colors that I want to show at the end because too much coat, like three or four coat of mat on a color, it could make it a little less. Not faded or change it or anything, but just a tiny less. The only professional can see it. You know what I mean? It will be like because mat is is like a piece of glass laying on top of color so if the piece of glass is thick then then it'd be a little frosty but just a tiny bit again not noticeable but but i didn't see it and i'm not going to repeat the art so i want it to be perfect so it's going to think about something um so far here this okay. all right so stained glass gels um, I'm going to choose a light blue that is number seven. Uh, I'm putting it on and just tear and wipe it up. Wipe up tacky layer. It's not no wipe. And I'm thankful for it. it's not no wipe at this moment. Blue. Just a thin layer. Not much. Only top coat. It doesn't need top coat. It doesn't need to be flat now. It's, it looks kind of three-dimensional anyway. Like this. You like it. Oh my god, it's so worth it, you guys. It's so worth it. See, that's something I couldn't skip because it makes it so much more beautiful. Is that eyes or oh, cute this eyes? Um I'm getting greedy. Let's do number uh, let's do number eight and give it a little more deeper. I'm getting a little greedy here. Hopefully I don't pay for it. Okay, take this out. Now a deeper blue, deeper blue right here. Sorry, I'm, I'm off screen. Right here, in the middle, the blue and the black. Do a deep, deeper blue. Here this is so much more different. It's so much prettier. Okay. Think I'm gonna leave it dry with some design from yesterday, but do a full now white and black line work. Ooh. 
I like it too. Very good. Um, these, the mushroom, you can skip. Mm. It's, but of course, I value the practice, but you can skip because mm, it's a unique design for a unique person. The eye you gotta do is popular. You're gonna see it everywhere. You gotta do the eyes. Um, this right here is a huge money maker too. It's still a little different, but it's not specific. It's not oriented, team orientated like this. It's sort of like a like a psychedelic abstract. If you remove in the, I do the black twinkle so it can match the team. But you can remove the black twinkle. You can replay with uh, unicorn clips on top of the color, so it's prettier. You can change the color of the chrome, and of course, this black and white is um, is extra. So without it, it could also be a very fast money maker. Is a rainbow pigment background and chrome on top, just like that. Wavy. Hi, May. So again, you can also pick and choose on this design. But the eye, the eye. I have seen it, the eyes for a very long time. I've seen eyes on everywhere. So that is a team. It's a popular team. And then the mushroom is extra, it, just to make it funner. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Hi, Latash Glamour. Okay. Start. I, and I love the color too. It's, of course, it's way different than yesterday uh, because of this aqua. If you don't have this aqua, it wouldn't be the same. This aqua is everything. And remember, I'm not just using blue. I'm using green too, but just a tiny bit of green. Um, be very careful on the aqua because again, to make it bright like this is kind of difficult to make it electric. I have. I use in, I try all kind of palettes before. I only come close, but not like this. Mainly because the white is underneath. That's why it's kind of glowy looking. It kind of look like a glow and dark powder that you do. And in the dark, it's glow. This electric blue glow, it's like that. It looks like that. Okay. So this blue is very important. The pink, the orange, yellow, easy. But the blue, make sure that you test out first. On uh, Take pigment base, paint it on top of nail, and you test out that blue shade so you can learn the proportion of mixing. With more blue than green, of course. And of course, you have to tap it out, make it light, because you don't apply it dark. Make it very light. Remember, airy. So the color can be this bright. If you press too hard, then it can be bluer. It's not good. If it's bluer, then it's not good. Like darker, then it's not good. It have to be like that. All right, everyone. So, and the, the the especially the the highlight in the eye is everything. That's what makes it. It's like it's looking at you. Let's give it a little cleanse up right here. Look, it's friend stained glass gel. Let's clean it up. Here you go. I'm not going to top coat this. Stained glass gel. I can break the rule because stained glass gel is a transparent gel. Remember when it comes to wrinkling or curability, it's only difficult if it's super solid. Stained glass gel is not solid. It's a transparent gel if we say without top coats. See, remember I said I break the rule. I didn't say I'm going to be risky. It's different. I, didn't, I, I already know there's going to be no problem at all. So it's not risky, it's just, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to put some top coat on there. But with St. Glad Gel, that is an exception. Because, it's, again, it's sheer. How much for this set? Mm, okay. So, this right here, on every nail, is um, uh, about 120 120 uh, A little bit above $100. Mm. Or 150 because you just apply base, apply some pigment, and then you just blend pigment in. Now, if it's difficult for you to blend, then that will be an issue with the price. But for me, it's easy for me to blend. So it's quick for me. The blending process is quick. So I'm just going to charge like 150 for it. This is easy too. So you can charge more if it's challenging for you. Now, with this, with two of this in, 
that gonna make it an even 300 because uh that's the um, like now by that when she do psychedelic she drop very high too her price is very high so uh when it comes to something like that don't be afraid to judge because it's art if they don't want art then take it out just do practical design these practicals it's it's not it's not art it's just fashionable it's you know everybody have it you can have the same thing every time just switch out the colors that is something practical but this this you only done it once and then next time you do a different one so this is art this is some practical design to help the art see that and then pop in a few crystal on you're done yes yeah let us try more are you all pigment and especially this aqua that why it's done for people this aqua is a little tricky to to mix it up because you know with if you have too blue then it's gonna be just tiny bit darker too much green then it's gonna be like it's gonna be green and you don't want green you want that specific aqua colors so remember the mix the mixing is the thing for this um i would say mm, 80 percent blue 20 percent green one fourth one fifth one fifth yeah try one fifth green and then the red is blue try that let me, let me try that so if i dip the whole brush in Okay, so that's the much blue. So now, how should I dip it? Let me see. Maybe I just try a corner. That's it. Now I put one line in. That's about it. And then you mix it up evenly. Because if you don't mix it up evenly, then then there'll be some blue on your breast, some green in your breast. Okay. A little, a little bit more. Because it's still blue. It's still blue. You need to get to a point where it's almost green, but it's not passing the line. Just a little more green. Okay, that's it. I'm stopping right here. It's almost green, but it's not. It's still blue. See, it's still blue. Now, let's see. See how dark it is. Tapping it out. And before you even slap it on the nail, you done over a few times just to make sure that it's like this. Okay. Over white. Over white background. So now it's look tealish. Okay. And very airy, very airy, blend it up. Very nice and airy. Okay, to make that electric aqua. Thank you, thank you, Kikaro. Gracias, Kikaro. Thank you, Redbone. <gasps> Highway now, it's 3.30 a.m. Oh, you're in a different part. Oh my God, that's early. Well, I don't know, early for me. Might not early for you. I'm... Hi, Coco Bunny. I, I want to wake up early too because it feels good every time I wake up early. Um, I already answered this. Let me see. Glow in the dark now. I see something glow in the dark. Let me see. Could you do a glow in the dark set soon, Tino? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm using fairy gels. Um, what am I going to do? A probably like, oh, um, marijuana. When I do marijuana now, I will use fairy gel to do marijuana nails. Uh, I don't use fairy gel on this because I need blend. So I use pigment. I don't have glow in the dark pigment yet, but that's something I would want in glow in dark pigment. So people can, besides gel, they can mix more in gel to make it stronger, or they can mix in acrylic. Uh, a lot of people like glow in the dark using acrylic because in acrylic, it's not just a thin layer of gels. It's a thick layer of acrylic, so there's plenty of glow in the dark for it to glow like crazy. So eventually, I want to glow in the powder so people can use acrylic too. Could more people prefer acrylic? I pre made this shape with your pigment and put it in a container so it's made. <gasps> yeah, no, I love that idea. You can do that. 
I I don't do that because I'm I'm like on the go. I make so much color, so I don't do that. But that is definitely a thing. You can have another form holder. Have uh buy some like you know container. I bet you can find some on Amazon for nothing. And oh my God, pre mixes. That's awesome. That is awesome. Gel now something so simple. I never even think of it. Yeah, pre mix it or. There is this, um, I don't know if you can find it, but it's this pill container. It's for, it's for pill, it's for uh, pill. Um, there is this container that you wouldn't, people wouldn't pill in. You know, all the medicine, you can use that. You can use a container, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, do, uh, you do acrylic overpress on, no. no. I don't, I don't do acrylic over press on now. Um, I know that there is acrylic press on, but it's made out of like a machine. Um, the only time when I do acrylic on press on now is for me to demo in class, but I never do that and then sell it to a person. It, I don't know, I just, I just never done that. But I don't see why not. I don't see why not. It just you have the fire and everything. I don't know. If I do that, I might as well just do a nail set rather than do a press on set. It's low. It's hideous to just hold in a nail. I I want to hold in a person's hand to fire. I don't want to hold a nail to like fire. It's just tricky. Um, let me see. Thank you, thank you, Ulinda Katago. Okay, so I am gonna get up here and I am gonna make a videos. And tomorrow I will be on again. Tomorrow I'm on at 11 a.m. As just be set alarm uh, separately because Instagram just don't do a good job at reminding uh, people. Um, I think it does remind people just very small amount of notification and then it's, it's gone. So people are not notified, or it's silent reminders of some sort. But anyway, so this is this Saturday. Tomorrow we're gonna do another one. We're not done with psychedelic. Um, colorful rainbow is colors gonna be going on tomorrow, and on Sunday, um, I want to do one show in the morning on Sunday and one show at night. So we're gonna have three more colorful sets. These are uh, actually I'm not gonna show you because you already see it on live. I plan to show you the design um in the past few days, but you can see it on live. All right, everyone. <laughs> Missy, are you making fun of my accent, Missy? <laughs> um, Instagram didn't know for me today and came in like, yeah, just I don't know, just just set up up a. A separate alarm because Instagram doesn't do a good job. All right, yeah, all right. Thank you, man. Me by armor. Thank you, thank you. All right, are you putting this on YouTube? Yes. Um, yesterday I already put the yesterday video on YouTube already. Yes. So today, yes, I'm doing it on YouTube. I gotta remember because all, all it needs is for me to like, like. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, I'm I'm very bad on checking DM in the last uh, couple of day. I just have uh, design thing going on, so um, so I can remember to go on YouTube tonight. All right, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Bye Tia. Bye everyone. My sister will have a good day. Thank you, Way Hollywood. Great, Tino. You're welcome. Uh, press on by K7. Have a good day. Really? Uh, on your YouTube page? Yes, yes. Tino, well, mm -hmm. I post I post a lot yesterday. Um, mm -mm. I, I didn't create new uh, YouTube page. It's the same. It's uh, Tino, well, the, the the picture is my face, uh, and it's the same as Votino. It's the same picture as Votino page. Uh, so. Bye bye, bye love in three one three. Bye bye everyone. Right. Bye bye Missy Flame.
Chao, inspiración, adiós, Luis. Hasta luego. Hasta